here is my 2017 BMW F800R. I bought it in March as, um, and it had just under 10,000 miles on the clock when I bought it. Uh, since then I've, I haven't done much to it other than um, give it a good clean and, and um, made, checked everything over because the bike was in really good condition when I bought it. Um, I bought it from a, a place called Superbikes in Macclesfield. Anyway, since then I've um, done a couple of modifications myself and added a couple of things. The handguards were um, a modification I, I needed. I'm, I live in the UK, for anyone who doesn't know, and it's uh, usually cold and, and rains a lot, so to me they're a necessity. Not for hitting, not like bark busters or for hitting branches, but just literally just for sheltering your hands and stopping your gloves getting wet. So um, I bought these originally for another bike I own and never fitted them. So I don't know exactly how much they are nowadays, but I got them from eBay probably about four or five years ago for about £25. And they come with a little bracket which fits underneath the mirror and they fit on quite, quite easily. The only thing modification I had to do was to um, the original bolt that holds the end weights in. I drilled and a hole through and tapped to a 6M6 for these these are came with the kits but I just drilled and tapped right through the bolt and fit it so it just this would screw straight in so that's that also um, attached to now to this bracket of, that fits there that fastens the handguard to the mirror I've also managed to fasten or attach um, a phone holder now I like these the star style or I think it's the Ram style or this although this again is a fairly inexpensive one I think it costs about 10 11 pound it comes with um, a little charging point so you can keep the electricity in I don't think they're particularly waterproof but for the price I, I'm a fair weather rider so it's not really an issue but the fact is you can just open it there put your phone in one-handed operation which is make which is makes life a lot easier than a lot some of them which you have to open them out with both hands and put your phone in so yeah i can use that for sat nav and it stays on and i've actually used one of these on the neighbor ring so i know it's pretty solid so yeah that's that's uh, another I've put these straps underneath here, this is actually just for a tank bag, I don't use it that often but uh, I've got a tank bag which I just leave these out when I'm not using it. And um, also another little thing, another little item, um, because I've got more than one bike, I've got uh, another bike, I use this little, this has a little puncture repair kit in it. It's actually for a crossbar of a, a push bike, a pedal bike. Uh, but I strapped it to the frame, the subframe of the bike, and um, you know I can keep little things in on the bike all the time, so you don't forget them. So in here I've got some wipes, uh, there's a puncher outfit, and um, and it comes in handy. So that's it. I've got a little instead of buying a, a full top box which I feel um, doesn't lend it, a, t a big square top box doesn't lend themselves to um, the shape of a bike, you know, the, the line and the great big box on. I know a lot of people have them and they're pretty secure, but this this one, this is, um, I can't, it costs about £35. Again, it was um, an eBay special, but it just fits the bill and it expands so I can actually put my helmet in if I'm at the cafe, you know, the, the uh, biking cafe or whatever, put my helmet in, zip it up, and then your hands free for your helmet. Uh, but also, and all I've done is just strapped it down to the existing back rack, which comes with the, this particular model. And then I've got my, a couple of tools, waterproof pants, and uh, some tape and some extra bungees if I, decide I want to carry something big and uh, yeah this this works very well so and it and it isn't a great big bulky thing so probably the most expensive <laughs> but it's still 
inexpensive was this this is actually um, from Aliexpress and it's just an end can I think they call it a 270 end can um, and I, I didn't even use the link pipe well, I, I took the original pipe off and then just stuck it on it doesn't even have any brackets it's not fastened on um, and it's just fastened on with the springs and it just slots straight in so and it makes a nice sound so yeah so that's uh, what I've done so far with the bike. Now how does it ride? Well mainly good points just by the fact that it's great. I bought it for a tool for myself and my partner's tool and for that it's got a nice big seat really big seat. Uh, it usually has a cover on here and it's very low centre of gravity so got a low seat on so you can get your feet flat to the floor. I've got an inside leg of 31 and a half inches and so it just sits nice it's very very comfortable to ride and at any UK road speed it's absolutely perfect and so it handles really well there's no problem so what's the downside well I don't know whether it um, it's all models like this but this is the chain drive model and um, some of them come with belt drive depending on the model this is the F800R which comes with a chain drive and above 70 mile an hour motorway speed you do get vibration through the handlebars and um, it can be it's more annoying than anything else because it, it just makes the mirrors fuzz up and I have got another bike with the same design engine in it which is designed by Rotex for BMW and that doesn't have the same thing so whether it is that the chain is getting a bit old and I need to change it or whether it is the actual firing order of the bike I, I won't know until I change the chain but other than that um, that's the only downside but normal UK road speeds and acceleration and riding there's not a problem with it whatsoever it's really nice it's really nice and smooth the brakes are react very well for the um, size of the bike and the power is there it'll just pull and pull and pull from low down um, right through the rev range I haven't found an issue with that at all one of the things I've had to get used to is um, where the fuel fills from here um, normally or should I say on other bikes you put your side stand that way from that side so I tend I don't know whether everyone does this I tend to try and get a pump which is the left side of the bike but I do that now and I find because I forget and I find that the fuel count tanks on the right hand side so I'm going to pull the hose over. They are, it is very handy the fact that you can you don't have to have a you don't have, you can have a tank bag on you don't have to take it off. But you've got to remember that the it's easier to pull up to a, a petrol pump this side to fill up. My variant of the F eight hundred R has quite an extensive electronics package and on the hand grips you've got an information button and there's a mode button for different ride modes it's got heated grips and uh, it's got uh, rear suspension um, different, slightly different ratings how it works is um, like this so I'll just switch on the first thing you get when it does switch on is actually the next service date which is there it's 0621 on this one uh, when it settles when the controls settle down we've got the time at the top um, and at the moment I've got it on I'll just lighten it up a bit on trip 2 and um, here we have the um, average miles per hour that I've been doing on, on here on this one if I press the information button there, we've got the average miles per gallon in this case is 82 now I have only just 
brought it back from the garage only six miles away so that will probably settle down it usually does just above 70 miles to the gallon which is very good for an 800 on the other hand it, that's normal steady riding um, this is continuous average miles per gallon the engine not running at the moment so it's not showing anything and then we've got the engine temperature now the engine hasn't been used today yet so it's it's actually lower than the outside temperature which is that which is 29 degrees at the moment and then back to the beginning again so that's what the information button does now the mode button which is off the uh, mode button and uh, at the moment it's on road I press it it activates it and then I press it again it changes dynamic if I press it once it activates it I press it again it changes to rain if I then press it once activate it press it again and you can do this on the fly it goes to road mode I, th I think the dynamic road the dynamic is the road and rain combined but uh, it doesn't seem to make a, a great deal of difference and um, I just tend to keep it on the uh, road so I set it to road and that's it oh, the last thing is the suspension now the suspension uh, rear suspension it gives you um, different comfort modes so we press it once you've got ESA normal mode that's what we've got it in at the moment press it again and you've got sports mode and it does you can feel the difference this actually does make uh, so it's a bumpy road you can feel it in the back end and then you've got comfort mode and um, my, myself and my partner like to ride on the comfort mode because it, it does soak up the bumps it's very good it, it works very well and uh, and that's about it you know so the the information package is uh, is very good so there we have it this is my f800r um just one other thing i nearly forgot to mention um i have repainted the center stand it does catch uh, a lot of the weather and it had started to go rusty but that wasn't a big issue neither but other than that um, I'm very very pleased with it. Mm -hmm.